Support Laneside. Get something cool. Hey everybody and welcome to another edition of Laneside Reviews. As always, I'm the bearded beast, Rob Johnson, joined once again by Scoops Porter. And we've got some really exciting stuff to show you on this episode, so why don't we take it Laneside and see how it's stacked up. All right, guys, so here we are back on the lanes on an easy, easy house shot. And, uh, man, I'm going to be really upfront. I was, I did not give this ball the respect it was due off the bat, uh, and you're going to see it. Um, this is the Proof Pearl, and we are on an easy, easy, typical house shot. Um, now, I really like my Proof Solid. Uh, I did a short pin, though, so while I know that ball is incredibly strong, I wasn't quite as sure how strong this ball would be uh, being a pearl when I got it to the lane. Uh, you can see that first shot was, yeah, you can call it a strike. Uh, it was pretty lucky. Uh, this one I made a little move to try to get it, uh, try it a little lighter. And you can see it carried, but it was a little washy. So I started making kind of a move in between, and I ended up standing... Uh, about 37 uh, and walking in and uh, man this I was not expecting this ball to be this strong uh, now out of the box it it has a little bit of shine to it but it doesn't doesn't have a ton so I thought oh, it's gonna be kind of smooth it's you know it's gonna read early coming off my hand thinking it's a smoother pearl I didn't think I was gonna see it have such a fast response to friction now, I haven't moved yet from my first two shots. You can see my third shot is now a four pin. Sorry, after I made my last shot. Um, so you can see I've left a four pin here. And uh, I, I was shaking my head. I was like, huh, that's, uh, that's not what I was expecting. This big asymmetric core, even though it's a little bit higher RG, this cover core combination has made this ball incredibly fast response. So even though what looks to be a slightly shiny surface is a very, very fast response cover they put on this thing out of the box. Here we are again, pretty much the same spot. I haven't moved since my last shot. Now we're going Brooklyn. This thing also eats oil uh, like it's the opposite of broccoli and Brussels sprouts. Um, one thing I noticed very quickly while I was taking the oil off of it, because I was trying to wipe it off every time, uh, there was very little oil to take off. You can see I'm trying to spin it there. There's not a lot of oil coming off this ball. As it was coming back, it was soaking it up in this cover. This cover is so, so thirsty for oil. Now, I'm not moving yet. You can see I just went kind of through the nose, Brooklyn. Well, it probably ate a little bit too much oil. Now you can see it's going fully Brooklyn. Brooklyn. You can overlay those shots one over another, and they're basically the exact same shot within about a half board of each other. And, well, we're seeing it now where it was kind of light to the pocket now we've gone high four pin high through the nose brooklyn well we're not done yet because i'm not going to move i want to see at this point i want to see how quickly this thing soaks up well because i know it's already a strong pearl it's already a very angular very strong pearl but i want to see what this thing can do so back to the well one more time we are fully Brooklyn now, so we've gone from one side of the pocket to the other. This ball is a monster. If you need the ball to get some oil out of the way, create some friction, and create some angle down lane when you need it to read that friction on a dime and get to the pocket, to me, that's what this ball looks like. Now, I'm going to make a 6 and 4 move left on this shot here uh, to try to get back to the pocket, because at this point, I'm... You know, I, I've gone fully Brooklyn. I'm, I'm pretty sure if I throw another shot, I'm into the four pin, and I miss the head pin entirely. So if I was bowling on a uh, potentially a longer, heavier oil pattern, 
and I need something that I'm that's going to see the friction as soon as it rolls off the end of the lane and start to make its motion very quickly and get into a roll very quickly, the proof pearl is probably the one I'm going to go to. I mean, you look at this. I'm back in the pocket after a six and four move. After one, two, three, four, five shots from going from one side of the pocket to the other. So here we are with my Intel, with my regular uh, benchmark layout. You can see it's my smooth piece. And we're going to compare the proof pearl to it because I think this is going to be very eye opening. Uh, you can see here when I got into the pocket, that's my six and four move. Holy moly. It even finished left of the Intel. This thing was a hook monster. Super angular. I liked it. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe and turn on notifications so you never miss a show. So until next time, guys, we'll see you lane side.